Hello and welcome to another Smur P video and today I don't usually look at old figures because they've been reviewed quite a lot but this one I could not resist he is huge and I don't think my camera is going to do him justice whatsoever you know he he he, tow well, he almost towers above my backdrop which I used to do a whole scene so this is Unicron from the Armada series which is pretty awesome so back um in the 2000s, we had the Amada series or the Unicron trilogy, if, as as some call it. Although Cybertron, I don't remember Unicron being in it, and this guy was was a big hit back then. I actually liked the Amada series, and I actually collect uh, collected quite a few of the figures, and this was one that I wanted at the time, but um, I didn't get him. I think I missed a bid on on eBay back then, and then I decided that I was going to sell my Transformers. And just stick with Beast Wars and well I never really looked back and then the last sort of couple of years I've been into uh, masterpieces collecting those uh, some of those who follow me um, ha have probably seen most of my videos about Transformers masterpieces and I, it got me thinking about this I know there's a platinum edition which is probably like 200 quid or something silly like that that probably looks more G1-ish but I thought, hey, if you can get this at a decent price, it's going to look pretty nifty on the shelf. So um, so I got him. I got him for about 20 quid um, on eBay, which is, which is a really decent price. And the only thing that he was missing is dead end. Um, I'm not even bothered about the Minicon, you know. I think you need a Minicon to do certain things on here, but that's about it. So, um... Let's get on and look at him a bit closely. So he's got, um, this is the only thing that irritates me about this mode is this clear hand, but it, um, it does have LEDs in it. I'm not sure if it's gonna show, come on. I don't even know how it works, but hey, it's got an LED in there and it's got an LED in here and in this when this all opens up, etc. Right, so I'm gonna try and show you the gimmick here. I can. is cool and if you got the LED the the batteries in there it all lights up is my understanding I'm not overly fast oh there we go shot um <laughs> yeah you need to have the arms out of the way for that to work better but it's not a gimmick I don't you know it's cool I'm not bothered by this um you know this works really nicely this chest uh, so since getting him I'm, I've actually kept him in bot mode um on my shelf because he's actually looked pretty 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 nifty I think you know there's some nice detailing on this they really actually gave some thought to this figure you know back in a time where they were slowly articulation after the 90s started really coming in you know he, he's got some real articulation he's got these missiles on the side you put um this dude who's broken in there that should fire Oh, there you go. No, no more, no more. Um, so they put some fall into this figure, and the feet. I absolutely love the feet. The feet are awesome. And if you look at the back, even the back is well detailed. Not that anybody probably shows him for the back, but um, you know, they've really gave some thought to this. And this, uh, it's not always perfect. It works so just for some size comparisons to try and give you an idea how huge this is. Here is six inch Jim Lee Cyclops, and that is wow, tiny compared to Here that. Here is next to MP36 Megatron, and okay, the size like this clearly is, is never going to work. He was a planet, and you. You know, we go on about scale quite a lot in forums. You know, I like scale to be quite um, accurate, but it doesn't always happen. This is one of the cases that it's never going to work. <laughs> but just to have a Unicron that, okay, it may have been an Amada Unicron, but it pretty much looks like G1 Unicron, if I'm honest. There's not, I don't think, that much detail other than paint schemes, etc. that change that form. and here he is next to old school um optimal optimus so you know once again that shows how big he actually is 
which is quite nice. And here he is opposite uh, Cybertron's uh, Primus. Um, even though this size is bigger than this, and I think the size is better, I think they got the planet mode better with this. This actually, this half looks like a planet, and I'll show you when we get to that point. This is a whole planet when you transform it. Um, the only thing that irritates me about this is the feet, and I lost one. Arrgh. Right, so I'm going to get Unicron transformed. Um, as always, I'll do it off screen because it'll probably take me about three hours, and you will yawn your head off. And here he is transformed into his planet mode, and it is very difficult without a stand to actually show it, so I'll try and do my best. Uh, you can see once again some great detailing. That's where Dead End goes, but I don't have him. I may have to get him if I want to fire some missiles though. Uh, there's lots of um, Minicom ports around the ring, which is cool. And then you have the front, the jaws. Uh, I'm trying to get a better view and. Keep it going. Oh man. Four. Four. Right, sorry. And this is what I mean when I was saying about uh, Promise being the better planet because he it all goes inside, which is wicked. Uh, but, the, you know, the main bit about this is either play robot mode or having it like this, which is cool. And this is probably how I intend to display it. Uh, unicorn stalking uh, the Decepticons. Here we go, Decepticons. Get a get a bit of a far view so you can see it as a whole. Uh, as you can see, the display is coming together quite nicely and looks really good. So Unicron, if you can get him for a decent price, do it. It is worth it. Uh, the G1 Platinum version does look better, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but this is a nice addition without spending some big bucks on a toy from the early 2000s. So, and it looks quite nice in the corner. Stalking Decepticons. So, um, thank you for watching and um, take care.